So I was planning on talking about being pretentious. Uh, the pros and cons of being pretentious. Uh, the utility in being pretentious and the non-utility of being pretentious. And it, de- it, it devolved into something um, else uh, that is rooted in, in maybe a little bit of my pretentiousness. Um, the utility in being pretentious is uh, it can breed confidence. Uh, even if it's fake confidence, it's confidence in less, uh, which I guess fake confidence is, is kind of real confidence. Uh, it can push you forward. Uh, it can make you more bold. Um, and like even though you feel like you can't do something, you might be capable of something that you aren't currently capable of if you just believe that you are capable of doing it. And a lot of people are. But what happened this morning is I was like, I need a name for this vlog because I need a name for everything, right? And um, and so I started I started exploring different names uh, for what I could call uh, th- this segment, I guess. Um, and and. One of the things that inspired this is I've decided that in an hour and 15 minutes, uh, church starts and I'm going to go to church, even though I'm not particularly, even though I'm not particularly religious anymore. Uh, but there are reasons I would go to church since I'm back home, uh, mainly because of the people. And I think that's one of the reasons we've always gone to church is, there's always good people, at least the churches that I've been to. Um, so I started playing with that idea, um, doing a little bit more of a secular spin, um, like kind of jokingly around parading like uh, secular talk uh, with Kyle Kalinske, doing like oh, a temporal talk, you know, it's the same, same essence uh, but obviously, I can't just copy somebody with a name. And I do this for everything. I'm like, oh, I want a really, really cool name. I want it to roll off the tongue. I want it to be unique. And so I'm still cooking it. Some of the some of the names I was thinking about, I was just looking up synonyms for secularism and, and things. like Because I don't... I want it to be like a church. <laughs> uh... But for people, obviously, who are, who are non-religious, um, and I don't even want to talk about, like, spiritual things ever, because not ever, uh, but just kind of, like, the metaphysical and stuff. I just wanted to kind of have a blanket statement, like, church for pagans, but pagans still believe in, in gods. They're just not the main gods of any given society. Um... So, church for temporal beings. <laughs> so I'm real pretentious sounding. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna name this. I also don't know how terribly important it is. I think I, I attach so much worth to the naming of these things and. And I wonder how much of of an effect that it actually has. Definitely branding is is important, especially when you're well known and you want to talk to it to other people. So, for example, I'm uh, plug 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 uh, Break Room Arcade with the Nintendo Stuff podcast and the Breakdown podcast. Those aren't terribly unique, but at least there's something to attach to, and that's important. Um, and so for this, like, maybe it'll appear in the title of this video, and then I'll fix it in the other vlog as well. The Sunday, the Sunday vlog. And that was the other thing uh, I wanted to do with churches. You know, I wanted to name it Church of Whoever is Going to Listen. 
you know? And maybe that's what it becomes. I don't know. I, I'll probably decide post-video what it's called. But just also bringing that sense of, like, tight-knit community. I want to reach out to people. I want to have conversation with people. I, I, want, I want people to, you know, give me feedback. That's one of the reasons we have comments on, on YouTube videos and, and such. Uh, so I don't know. I like naming things. I like giving things a definitive facade that people can kind of get an idea of what to expect. But then it also feels good as a lyricist, as a vocalist. I love words that feel good coming out of your mouth. That's why alliteration, you know, uh, feels so good. So maybe I'll play with some alliteration or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. This turned into something very different. But I guess that's okay. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. So if you want to watch some more videos, I'll probably put some videos by my head, including last week's Sunday vlog uh, and then other channels that I am involved with. Uh, if you feel led, like, if you feel led, I use that all the time. You're going to hear it a lot. If you feel led, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for listening.